Today is my last uh, appearance at PMQs, and I'm happy to confirm reports that I will now be spending more time in the greatest place on earth. I would like to mark the fact that this is the last time the right honourable member for Richmond and North Allerton will appear at the dispatch box during PMQs. There's a bit more to do afterwards. But he has spoken at this dispatch box as Chancellor of the Exchequer, the Prime Minister, Leader of the Opposition, and after today, we all look forward to his continued contributions from the back benches. We wish him We wish him and his family well in the future endeavours. And I say personally, thank you for a working relationship. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank the Leader of the Opposition for his service. Now, of course, we've had political disagreements, ideological disagreements. We've argued at some length. Um, but I want to thank him for his hard work, for his commitment and for his decency in everything that he has done. Today is my last uh, appearance at PMQs, and I'm happy to confirm reports that I will now be spending more time in the greatest place on earth, where the scenery is worthy. <laughs> the scenery is indeed worthy of a movie set, and everyone is a character. That's right, Mr Speaker. If anyone needs me, I will be in Yorkshire. So. Yay! And as, uh, and as an adopted Yorkshireman, I'm particularly looking forward to doing the coast-to-coast -coast walk that runs through my constituency and many others. Since 2015, we've made significant progress with a campaign to make it a national trail, and indeed, Natural England are close to concluding their work. So uh, can I ask the Prime Minister to ensure that the coast-to-coast -coast does indeed become Britain's greatest <laughs> national trail? And in preparation for my return to the backbenches, would he meet with me to discuss it? <laughs> Mr Speaker, I thought he was about to ask me to join him on the walk. 